Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Ibby's Bookshelf. I'm Ibby, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Boy Who Could Do What He Liked by David Baddiel. David Baddiel has written a lot of books like The Parent Agency, Annie Malcolm, and The Head Kid. I've read most of them, but my favourite is The Boy Who Could Do What He Liked. In this story, there is a boy called Alfie. There is his parents, of which is his stepmom and his father. His real mum died when he was little. And ever since then, his father always makes sure that his life is on a routine. For brushing his teeth, Alfie has a routine. For going to bed, he has a routine. Everything has a routine to make sure that nothing out of control happens in his life again. But one night, when his father and stepmother have to go to a dinner party and their usual babysitter can't come, they get Mrs Spooks, who is a magic babysitter. They don't know it. Alfie is keen to get started on his routines, but Mrs Spooks just like... Do what you like, do what you like. He gets a little angry because his father told him to do his routines. He does do the routines, he just does them in a different way. Like for eating, he eats candy floss and for bath time, he goes under the sea. I'm not going to say what they all are, but there is a lot of stuff with Mrs. Spook's magic. But there is also a fine line between fun and out of control. Alfie then imagines of being in bed on time and sleeping. And it happens because the magic is in tune with Alfie's mind. When the father comes back, he has also had a change of perspective and says it's good to have routines for some things but sometimes it's good to loosen up and have fun it's an important message you can't keep your life in control all the time no matter how much you try there are going to be things you can't control but it is also a good to keep some things in check like doing your homework on time and doing the stuff you need to that is a must on time. Like heating, that's a must. <laughs> During this lockdown, a lot of people have been making routines to get their life more organised with all the spare time they have. I know I have. The spare time I have, I use and dedicate to my channel. I use my spare time to also write stories and all the other stuff that I like doing but I don't usually have a lot of time for, but I'm getting it done because of this lockdown. Have you guys been uh, trying to do any routines or anything out of the ordinary recently? If so, make sure to say so in the comment section below. Now back to the story. Everything in the end turns out fine. There's only one boy who is unhappy. No, it's not Alfie. You have to read the book to find out for yourself who this boy is. My favourite part in the story is when Alfie, in, for TV time, goes into the TV. He's on 7 o'clock news and says to everyone to call the local bully Freddie Bum Bum Barnes. Very good revenge, I'd say. The worst part in the story is when, I'd say at the beginning, because it's quite slow, the story's not really getting started. When it goes to the middle, that's when things start to heat up and the action come in. What made me laugh in the story? The fact when he came back into bed, back into the real world, and his mum his stepmom is getting texts and she keeps telling Fred's mum, no, Alfie wasn't on the news, why would 7 o'clock news let him on the TV? It happened, they just can't explain how it happened. My rating for this book, out of 10, I'd say is an 8. There definitely could have been a bit more action, a bit more drama, but it was a nice story. And... 
that's all for this week bye guys i'll see you guys next time and don't forget to like share and subscribe lss bye